Most AEGs are equipped to the fuse, so in the event of an overload, the fuse will blow before your wiring system is damaged. Today we're going to show you how to locate and check these fuses. If your AEG is equipped with a full stack, the fuse will be located inside the stack. Open it like you would to install a battery. Pull the wiring out, and you should have this fuse box like this. Pop it open. And you'll find a traditional test tube type fuse. If your AEG is equipped with a collapsible stock, the fuse is usually found in the handguard. So again, as you would usually install a battery, move the handguard, and the fuse will either be in a fuse box, or like this MP5 right here, we have a clip, so just unclip this from the barrel. So, and there's your fuse. Typically an AEG fuse is a 20 amp, 250 volt. As you can see inside the fuse, there's a thin wire. What happens is, if your AEG becomes overloaded, the wire inside the fuse will melt before the wiring system of the gun, which is a lot more expensive than a fuse. As you can see now, the wire inside the fuse is broken. Sometimes though, the wire can burn out underneath the end caps, which is harder to see. So generally, it's a good idea just to replace the fuse if you have a spare one, and see if that's the issue. If after replacing the fuse in the gun, you still get a response, you may have loose wire on your motor. The motor is located in the pistol grip, typically on most guns. So we're going to check that right now. Typically on most AEGs, the base plate is secured by two screws. I never want to touch the center one because that's just the height of the motor. So I take these two screws out. After removing two screws, you want to pop up the base plate. Sometimes it's kind of stuck in there, so you might want to pry it up the screwdriver. Underneath the base plate, there's a small silver disc which can fall out, so be very careful not to lose it. And as you can see inside the pistol grip, there's two wires. And we see right here, the positive is disconnected from the motor. So it's very simple to fix. It's a difficult blade connector. Just want to slide that down back on top of the motor terminal. Let's make sure it's on there good and tight, doesn't pop back off. To reassemble, just put that sword disc back on the top of the motor, like so, and reinstall the base plate. Reinstall the screws. Now, once you reconnect the battery, your gun should be operational.